In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your on-premises call manager registered endpoint with cloud capabilities. First, we need to make sure the endpoint is registered to and provisioned by a CUCM. You can check the device under device, phone, and then search for the endpoint that you want to link. And you can see I'm registered here. Once you've verified that, log into the WebEx device connector with your Control Hub administrator account. Notice here you have the option to add an HTTP proxy. So for example, if you're in a lab environment or otherwise have no connection to the internet, you can set up a proxy to connect to the WebEx service. You can also toggle if that proxy is for all HTTP requests, meaning the proxy will have connectivity to both internal servers and WebEx services, or if it's for WebEx cloud requests only, so your proxy will only allow you to connect directly to the cloud. Let's save the configuration and then proceed to sign in. Once signed in, you can select multiple services. Either use the tool to register devices to the cloud directly, or you can add cloud features to the on-premises endpoints, or you can add hybrid features to cloud registered endpoints. For this video, I'm gonna cover the adding cloud features to on-premises endpoints. Once selected, you can now link your devices either by CUCM or by using a CSV file. In this video, we're going to use Call Manager. Another video will cover using a CSV file. We have to assign the host and select a username and password of a user that has Axel API access. This is an HTTPS connection where Device Connector is checking the CUCM Tomcat certificate. If that certificate isn't trusted, you can just bypass it with this button. Once connected, it's going to display all the endpoints configured on CUCM, and here we can link the devices with Control Hub. For this example, we're going to select this RoomKit Plus. Remember that the device has to be running firmware CE 9.12.3 or later to be linked. We can verify this is the right device by matching the MAC address on the web interface, and we can also make sure that WebEx Edge is enabled in the provisioning section. After that, we can click on Link. And here you see it says link pending, so we hit an issue. Let's go back to the endpoint and check the proxy settings. Here I'm just going to set up configuration and searching for proxy. If the endpoint is not on a network that can access the internet, we can assign a proxy either manually via PAC or WPAD. For this example, I'm going to enter a manual proxy that has access to the internet. Once I have this set up, I can cancel the link and then try linking it again. And you can see now I'm linked with Control Hub. And now you can see the WebEx Edge registration status on the homepage of the endpoint. And you can see here I can look at my on-premise endpoint status through WebEx Control Hub. That's all there is to linking an on-premises endpoint to Control Hub. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.